Now is a type diabetes mellitus type 1 treatment. Type 1 diabetes mellitus treatment. Before this treatment, I want to say that of course type 1 uh, already I already mentioned you that type 1 diabetes mellitus in there is complete uh, destruction of beta cells that's why no production of insulin so we need to give the exogenous exogenous insulin and after giving exogenous insulin we need to do SMBG means self monitoring blood glucose level as self monitoring blood glucose level this is very very important okay and we need to give the exogenous insulin exogenous insulin injections of course we will give injection subcutaneous subcutaneous we'll give subcutaneous i'll make the this uh, okay okay like this like this this one is a uh, this one on upper outer arm in umbilical reasons okay injections okay there is a vortex in a vortex also we can give an upper thigh okay these are the sites for the injections and we will give the subcutaneous injections so in the insulins there are the two kind of the insulins we will give insulins there are the two kind of insulin one is a bolus insulin bolus and another is a basal insulin bolus insulin and basal insulin how exactly we will give this bolus and basals in a graph i wanna describe this one is a this one is a serum insulin level and this one is a suppose this one is a breakfast okay suppose this is a breakfast and this one is a lunch and this one is a dinner and suppose this one is a bedtime and fasting okay fasting time so this one is a breakfast breakfast lunch dinner and bedtime these times we will give the bolus insulin okay and in a fasting state we will give the basal insulin bolus and basals two kind of insulin bolus we will give breakfast lunch dinner and bedtimes we will give the bolus insulin and a fasting stage there is a serum insulin there is no okay so we will give the basal insulin all right so i will write some important uh, insulin type of insulins and their actions okay the types types is a first is a suppose name of insulin name of insulin and it's one set of exon peak effect peak effect and durations okay name of insulin first is a first is a very short very short acting very short acting is a nowadays in a market is a humalog and novolog onset is a 10 to 30 minutes peak effect is a two to so, uh, one to one and a half hour and this one is a two to three hour durations this is very short acting huma log and novo log okay and short acting short acting short acting insulin is a regular insulin regular insulin plus intra intrapid 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 then this one also same half to one hour onset of actions and two to four hour peak effect and this one is a five to seven hour duration now is a intermediate 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 is a most common is protophan and ph this one is a one to three hour 6 to 12 hour is a peak effect and duration is a 24 hours and last is a long acting long acting is a lantus most common a 2 to 3 hour and this one is a stable for 2 to 3 hour till 20 hours okay this is these are the important uh, insulins name of insulin we need to remember like this this one is a very short acting short acting intermediate acting and the long acting 
very short acting is a homolog and novolog okay and short acting is a regular insulin and entrapid and intermediate is a protophon and nps and long acting is a lantus but how we will give this is the importance short acting short acting plus intermediate intermediate acting this one we will give in morning okay in the morning and short acting we will give before dinner short acting we will give before supper and intermediate intermediate acting we will give at bedtime you all need to remember these things okay very short acting group short acting group intermediate acting and long acting homolog novolog very short acting short acting is a regular insulin and entropic and intermediate is a protophon most common is a protophon and long acting is a l lantus in the morning time we will give short acting this short acting and intermediate before dinner we will give short acting and before supper is a we will give short actings and at bed time we will give the intermediate i just want to mention some side effect of insulin injections maybe there is a local reactions because it is a subcutaneous and there is a lipo hypertrophy and another is a most common is a hypoglycemia okay hypoglycemia the glucose blood glucose level may be less than 60 mg per dl okay these are the side effect of the insulin while you are giving insulin you need to remember these three uh, terms also but basically you need to remember this hypoglycemia maybe the patients can have a problem of hypoglycemia also that's why we need to check the doses also and and the um, another important aspect is a doses okay how we will doses if diabetes mellitus type 1 i'm only talking about now in a type 1 in a diabetes mellitus if less than 3 years then the dosage is 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 unit per kg per day okay according to the weight 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 but if the diabetes means three years less than three years means new onset okay if diabetes mellitus if diabetes mellitus is more than three years then the dosage is 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 unit per kg per day and if ketoacidosis to acidosis puberty and adolescence patients then we will give 1.5 to 2 unit per kg per day okay that's the doses of the insulin if the diabetes mellitus less than 3 years then dose is 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 unit per kg per day and if diabetes mellitus more than 3 years the dose will be the 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 unit per day uh, kg per day and if the patient is suffering from ketoacidosis or the patient is in a state of poverty and adolescence we will give the 1.5 to 2 unit per kg per day and as i already mentioned the combination we need to give okay that's all for the type 1 treatment in the next video we will describe type 2 diabetes mellitus treatment